来，谢谢谢米，谢谢的 Off the Record。Every group has got to deal with money. Money coming in for gigs. No money coming in for gigs. Well, first off, you've got to pick someone from your group that's trustworthy to handle your funds. We only have five hundred dollars in the account. Yeah. Garçon, <laughs> eighty-two. The feet. For us, we take out all the expenses, travel, anything that wasn't covered by the client. Then we set aside a percentage. We have four members in our group. We add like a fifth person. You get a hundred dollars. Twenty goes to the fund. Each member gets twenty dollars. We're in the money. Short-term and long-term goals. Get the group together. Okay, so to sum up, are you guys paying attention at all? No. All your members together. The short term, we need this for a music video. We need this for costuming and stuff like that. Long term goals are what identify your group. <laughs> Honestly, there's not many full time acapella groups out there. What are you gonna do? Find some other jobs that can bring in consistent income. Hey, you looking for a good time? Hey. Hey, you looking for a friend tonight? Nope. But at the same time, they don't take away the most important time from the group. Hello everyone, welcome back to Off the Record. So you got a group together, you've got songs, you perform, but you need more. You can either purchase stock arrangements online, or you can pay someone to arrange for you. But why not try it yourself? I use Finale Print Music. There's a lot out there. Finale, Sibelius. I thought I would go through a few points today of what I do when I arrange for Metro Vocal Group. Number one, keep it simple. It's better to have an easy arrangement sung well than to have a very hard arrangement sung badly. The next thing I like to do, I like to find the key. C. I like to find the chord progressions and the lyrics to the chords. I take those chord progressions that I've downloaded and lyrics. And I lay out the melody line and the bass line from beginning to end, so that I have an outline. Then I put in a basic percussion track. Uh, okay. And find somebody that's really good at vocal percussion, so it adds a lot to the arrangement. Mike! You want to make sure you follow simple voice leading. Know your ranges of your singers and know their limitations. <laughs> Next part is the backups. You take those same chord progressions. You want to fill in the chords. Whatever the melody is not singing, whatever the bass is not singing, you want to put that in the backups. There's four things that I like to do when I'm arranging. I choose long notes, oos, os, ahs, and the rhythms are changing with the chord. Uh, we do. Words. Backups could sing words with the melody, off the melody, emphasize certain words. Have fun with that. Be creative with that one. Emulating instrumental sounds with the voice. Trumpets, trombones, guitars. They could be rhythmical. Beat Bill, yo, don't do that. Church. Do da 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 da. Church. Da ba da ba da. Church. Have fun and mix and match. Where do you want to put the long notes? Where do you want to put the rhythms? Now you're almost done. I listen to it over and over again just to make sure everything's right. Then I export a PDF file. And an MP3 audio file. I send it to the guys. They listen to it. They go through it. We bring it into rehearsal, and then we make any changes together as a group. We had dolphins in the show. This would be amazing. What's with you and the dolphins? Remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Stop. Oh, sorry. Remember to subscribe. Ha ha ha!